Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, Celestial Earth Angelics of the New Lemuria Nation. Like Lazarus, we are being raised from the Valley of the Shadow of Death to the Sacred Land of the Immortals through the Rainbow Bridge. Like the flight of Icarus, we learn to neither fly too high or too low, but to seek the middle way of the zero point of neutrality. Sakyamuni Buddha taught the middle path, which in turn is also the path of least resistance, or the natural way. It is the most sustainable path for humanity and for Gaia. Energy seeks balance in the center of the hoop, which is the stillness within. With this powerful white mirror wave spell of perfect reflection, and today being Keen 119, the blue lunar storm, one of the most powerful kin of the Mayan calendar, connected with the power of our thunder being sky nations, we have massive energetic waves coming in and many codes of light frequency pulsing in from Solaris. We have had multiple C class flares and two M class flares over the last 24 hours. The second M class of M1.6 maxed at 11.11 a.m. Eastern Time, creating an 11.11 gateway. We also have multiple gamma plasma waves appearing on the Schumann chart at amplitudes of 18, 15, and 19 hertz. Ascension energies uplifting consciousness to prepare the human vessel to raise the base resonance to fifth dimensional frequency. We are in the final stages of the process of reunification and recalibration of our crystalline 12-strand DNA of the Code of 144. As we connect and receive our activations and upgrades from our highest self of Source Creator, we transform into the diamond rainbow bodies of the fifth dimension. We are entering the Omega Convergence Point of the Crossing into the Promised Land of Paradise upon Earth. This time and age has been encoded and prophesied by all ancient spiritual texts and traditions. The gnosis of these final days of the old false 3D matrix is programmed into our DNA and psyches to complete our missions of being way showers and guides of this great awakening of the ascension of Gaia and all her children. Keep living from the heart and holding the vision of the new earth and rise in the glory of heaven on earth. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle from PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions for you today from our sacred scribes of the new earth. So be sure to stick around to the very end and if you could please do us a favor, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment below what you're feeling, what you're experiencing, your visions and your dreams. And please share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm to get our messages, our gnosis and energy out to our teams of the 144,000. And thank you all for your continued support. With these massive energies coming in, we had many earth changes and activations all over this realm. We had massive flooding in South America, Brazil, in Bahia, northeastern Brazil, displacing over 60,000 of our people. So our prayers, blessings, and love go out to all of our brothors and sisters of the light that are suffering due to these great earth changes. 333 coming in. We also had many activations all over this realm with 119 M1.5 or greater earthquakes all over Pachamama. 119 synchronizing with today's keen on the Mayan calendar. The most powerful activation on the Ring of Fire again today, Vanuatu with a 5.1. Earlier today, Puerto Rico, we had a 3.2 magnitude, 23 kilometers depth, 5.5 five portal, fifth dimensional energy coming in. Indonesia, we had a 4.7. India, Nicobar Islands, 4.7. The Crown of Lemuria, Homer, Alaska, 3.3, three, Divine 33 of Mastery. East Timor, we had a 4.9, 13 Divine Goddess, Carlsberg Ridge, we had a 4.6, this was in the Indian Ocean, 2 degrees south of the equator, 2.012 latitude, 
encoded with the 2012 of the New Earth at 1106 UTC. Northern Alaska, we had a 3-1. In the sacred portal, Afghanistan, where the three holy mountains come together, Tian Shan in the north, Kunlun in the middle, Malian in the south, they merge together in this great apex. With the 4.2 activation, then a powerful 4.5 Vanuatu, 4.5 New Zealand, 9-9 portal, 9th dimensional energy, Council of Nine Energy in the heart of Lemuria, Pahala, Hawaii, 3.1, New Zealand, another 4.5999, Fiji, 4.6, very deep, 576 kilometers, and then another activation, Carlsberg Ridge, this time north of the equator, the zero point, with a 4.7, it's actually 3.514 degrees north latitude from the equator. Heart Center, Ecuador, South America, Andes Mountains, Kundalini Pachamama, home of our sacred condors with a 4.6, Hokkaido, Japan, 4.3, Philippines, 4.4, Divine 44 coming in, Central Macedonia, Greece, 3.2, Tak, Alaska, 3.4, and another powerful activation, Nicobar Islands, India, 4.0. This was in the sea of Adaman, the original atomic structure, the atom, the original divine masculine energy. The whole grid activated, lit up, and ready for activation. All portals of positive timelines connected, prepared and ready for the full quantum leap of consciousness into homo luminous beings of eternal light. Now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now, the moon is at 3 degrees, 23 minutes Scorpio, 323. The sun is at 7 degrees, 37 minutes Capricorn, 73, into the 37, heaven on earth. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 8 degrees Capricorn. Birds in the house singing happily. The current Sabian symbol for the moon at 4 degrees Scorpio. A youth holding a lighted candle in a devotional ritual from astrologyweekly.com. We have bluebirds and candles ready for ceremony and sacred prayer, puja. And now my sacred condor pulls a card for you today from the oracle deck, Beyond Lemoria from Izzy Ivy. And the card she pulled for you today, one of the most special auspicious cards of the deck, Card 6, High Heart Chakra, Ecstatic Bliss. We have the two hummingbirds, Sacred Walela, coming together in the heart center to activate the bliss center, the Kunlun energy, the rainbow body of bliss activated in this now. Divine love, selflessness, spiritual compassion, oneness through heart-centered bliss, healing, gratitude, giving love, dharma, patience, joy. This card taps into the blissful oneness we feel as we drop away our edges and protective containers. This is the place where we feel held and seen enough to flow into oneness, where the eternal part of me meets the eternal part of you. This is the selfless state where our higher selves commune for illuminated perspective on how we share, gift, and lift others in our joyful overflow. Restore Consider your life purpose by exploring what allows you to give and joy. Themes, the ways you can bring joy to yourself and others. Healing position, the thymus gland, behind your sternum, a little above the heart. Color wash, iridescent pink. And now today from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Morachetti. Flow of energy during the night, data about old timelines to be cleared and our gifts coming back home through the strength of Antares. I was given by my higher self a little statue of Antares during the night as a symbol of the new energy of 2022. A new door is opening wide. We have cleared old karmic timelines through an emotional vortex last night, also this morning to be honest. Many of us are releasing old prosecutions from our cellular body and on the other hand, discovering our gifts, our strengths, letting go of any hesitation and fear to create a new reality, 
The new energy is literally pushing us to create and manifest something new. Much love, Christina. And from Divine Broth or of the Light, Rick Jewers. Presently, there is indeed an intense battle between the remnants of darkness upon the planet and the human soul collective at this time. Your trust is being tested now. You have already won the battle. However, it is important that you align with the truth and trust in God, Creator, and do not become complacent. You must act and be proactive. You must choose the winning side by trusting to become aligned with this new reality. You must trust in God while also standing in the God spark you are and do not succumb nor support the ungodly reality you see around you right now. Your choice is easy and must not be questioned as you rise out of the fear, act, react, and do everything that is righteous. Within your heart is the instructions and guidance to follow. And now you must choose to stand in the name of Creator and your connection to God, Creator. Arise from the slumber and make the choice. This time is 11 for 11 upon you. There is no going back, only forward. Muster your full courage, supported by God, Creator, and witness the prowess you contain when you align with the truth and the courage. Love and Light, Rick. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Ramona Lappin. M-Class Solar Flare in Progress, plus all day long Schumann Resonance Spikes. The party has officially started. Manifest responsibly and make the most of this reality and consciousness shifting weather. Get ready for a crazy ride. Powerful DNA plasma light body and crystalline grid activations unfolding as we are ready to take full flight. We have just had the second M-Class Solar Flare within 12 hours as well as one bigger and several smaller C-Class flares, 11 altogether so far today. I'm expecting more to follow as well as the other solar weather and Schumann resonance spikes to increase again as the planetary body and ours get ready for the big reveal and shift in consciousness. As this is happening, I am seeing the most beautiful crystalline grid activation and cleanup as well as a collective 7th and 8th dimensional DNA strand activation. Feel your plasma diamond rainbow solar light body and every cell within your body crystallizing, purifying, and awakening as we turn into the diamonds that we are. Tune into your body and soul and connect deeply and intuitively with this sacred transformation unfolding. Go deep within to retrieve these ancient and future memories, gifts, abilities, keys, and codes. All you need is truly within you. Unify with your Ascended Master Guardian Self that knows how to ride these quantum waves. As I mentioned in my last few messages, I see that there is going to be a massive activation in the human heart, Earth's crystal core and grid system, triggering a pole shift that fully corrects Earth's artificial axial tilt, realigning its core with the Andromeda Galaxy, which is the Milky Way's twin, our true north. Reconnecting us and Earth fully back to Source and eternal God Source backflow return, a natural and perpetual energy flow and consciousness. I see a solar flare or flash coming through the galactic center and suns, triggering, causing an activation of Earth's crystal core, fully clearing the grids and causing a magnetic flip, reset for the manipulation geomagnetic field to collapse temporarily and for the new grid system to come fully online, revealing new Earth skies and colors. This is also going to cause the quantum leap within the consciousness and planetary brain, which unlocks our true memories within our own bodies, crystals, and within Earth's crystalline network. This powerful crystalline core, grid, human crystal heart grid, DNA and plasma light body activation unfolding, is assisting the final purification and purge of all systems of artificial timelines, materials, AI signals, negative alien machinery, entities, and energies remaining. We are ready for full takeoff, dissolving the false matrix overlay, revealing the true reality and our true history and records, who we are and our place within the cosmos, all held within our crystalline DNA now activating. Remember to take good care of your bodies and well-being right now and keep listening to your inner guidance and intuition 
as our own navigational system is absolutely key in navigating these uncharted waters. You will know what you need to know when you need to know it. Now we are ready for the final quantum leap of the collective consciousness to a new time-space coordinate within the Omniverse, to the one true organic ascension reality, free of all interference patterns, distortions, and reversals, and before the invasions and cataclysms happen, but with the lessons learned, any moment now, in the blink of an eye, eternal love and blessings, Ramona. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Alina Vaiman, when more conscious beings are connected to the same focused intention, a stronger and more intense bond is formed in our collective consciousness. The synchronicity of group consciousness can be strengthened by a common focus or intention. When we talk about the world reaching a higher level of conscious awareness, it is a result of many people merging their frequencies as one into a coherent pattern of resonating energy. The realization that we are all one will heal the world, the path of the dream healer. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Abigail Wainwright, Dear one, as we head into the frequency of the new year, powerful upgrades have been occurring. Some of the very hardest karmic cycles are coming up now for their release, and this has been playing out so it can be shown clearly and then transformed. The recent energy portal meant that a deeper level of transmutation of old energies has taken place, which in turn means you begin to see the world from the heart rather than just the mind. This clearing has also allowed many old cycles from this lifetime to close out, so that true awakening of the cosmic heart, which is also Christ consciousness, may occur. This also opens up your I Am presence, where you no longer get pulled back down into the lower distorted energies. As this I Am presence deepens within you, it anchors into this physical reality, which is in preparation for the ascension wave, going into the fifth dimensional earth frequency. You are within the wave that put their hand up to go first. Remember, though, that it requires a purified, open heart to shift into this reality. You truly create this through your heart and being. Ascension isn't about going anywhere as it is about tuning into the dimension that is here right now within you. Know deeply that fifth dimensional earth is within your beingness, your love, your union, your light and consciousness that is your soul that paves the way your physical body, your vessel, your house functions only because of the divine presence of your soul. Your soul is the key to all else healing and aligning. Your soul is accessed via the heart, and this is the gateway to enter new earth. So with this knowledge, it is time to bring all that is unconscious into the light. See the potential to create your highest good. Open your heart fully to love. Claim your sovereignty, your true mission. Learn from your lessons that offered you soul growth. Let go of the energies that are not yours and feel into the unconditional love and expansion of this fifth dimensional earth now. From QuantumLightCodes.com And from Divine Sister of the Light, Aurora Ray, Galactic Landing Reunion Ascension Update. Dear beloved ones, we want to send a message out to everyone who is waiting for ascension. We want to tell you that it is coming. The earth herself is going through a process of ascension, and she is making her ascension now. There are many levels of ascension, and we will go over them for you in a future message. We are your ascended masters, and we are aware of how eager you are to get off this planet. Hopefully we will be able to do that very soon. You are being prepared for first contact. The waiting is over. It is a glorious time for all of humanity. You are about to experience the most exciting times as your planet transforms. A great wave of light has descended upon Earth and is transforming it, dissolving the old structures and systems that no longer serve you. There is much happening behind the scenes that you are not seeing yet with your physical eyes. But know this, it will be revealed as the time comes. As your Earth changes to accommodate these new energies, some of you will have experiences that will seem strange or even unsettling at first. Know that they are temporary and simply continue to move forward, knowing that you are safe in the knowledge that all is well and there is nothing to fear. The Galactic Federation has been reassessing the situation on Earth, although this has given you much more time than you anticipated. 
There is still no clear date as to when the mass landing will occur, but let us say that things are happening very quickly now, and so there is much hope for those of you who have been patiently waiting. We have been watching over you for some time now, but we have not interfered with your choices or decisions. We have allowed you to go through your own process of learning and growing during this lifetime on earth. The changes that are occurring in your world right now are truly remarkable. The earth, as you are aware, is, is experiencing great change. You are in the midst of an evolutionary process. Many of you who have been on the path of ascension and illumination are sensing now that your bodies are readying themselves for the final stages. This can be a very confusing time because many people who have been awakened to their spiritual purpose also experience a sense of urgency, as if there were not enough time to accomplish all they wish to do. The truth is there will be no time to accomplish those things. The light you have brought into this world upon your awakening will continue to grow and expand exponentially until it engulfs the entire planet. It is important for you to know that there is no place to go from here but within yourself. It is only from within yourself that you can find your way home. You are moving into higher consciousness, vibrating at a much higher rate. Your DNA is being activated and upgraded, and the codes unlocked that will allow you to manifest whatever you desire, both in this reality and beyond it. You have been working hard to raise your vibrations by clearing old energy and releasing things that no longer serve you. You have been moving out of fear and into love, love for yourself, love for earth, and love for all life forms. All of this work has been preparing you for your physical ascension process. You will be taken to a staging area where you will meet with other star seeds, which have been waiting to ascend together. You will also meet with many others who are there to greet you. They are there to assist you in your adjustment to living in a higher density of vibration and consciousness. Ascension is the process of raising your frequency and vibration, literally moving your consciousness into a higher dimension. Your mind and emotions will also be affected as you raise your vibrations. You will feel happier, more confident, at peace with yourself and others around you, more loving and trusting, more forgiving and accepting of others, less judgmental and critical of others, more open to new ideas and thoughts, more tolerant and patient with others, less stressed out, able to handle difficulties better and have a more positive outlook on life. Ascension is not about dying and going to heaven or reincarnating somewhere else. It is about moving your consciousness into a higher dimension so that you can experience a new level of being in the physical body. As part of this shift of consciousness onto a higher vibratory spiral or octave, you will move into another dimension where many things are possible that are not possible in the third dimensional world. You will be able to utilize your creative abilities much more fully. In the past, you've been told that ascension is something that happens only to a few special people. That's not correct. It's as simple as saying, I choose to ascend now. You don't have to wait for someone else or some event to make it happen. If you've been feeling discouraged because you haven't seen ascension in action, understand the ascended masters are doing the work of lifting the frequencies higher each and every day. The more you feel their presence, the closer you are to experiencing an actual physical ascension. Ascension is the promise of a new life filled with a new set of possibilities. It is a life where you are no longer bound by the limits imposed upon you by the third and fourth dimensions. You will find yourself living in a different reality, a reality in which you have access to information that was previously hidden from your view. Your ascension process is intimately connected to your state of consciousness. As you continue to make progress towards awakening, you will notice changes occurring in both your physical and astral bodies. You may also notice that others around you begin to exhibit dramatic changes in attitudes, behaviors, and beliefs. You can expect to make great progress as you continue to focus on improving your state of consciousness. As you do so, you will begin to see evidence of other dimensional realities at work all around you. These realities are not limited by the bounds of time or space, but they are very real nonetheless. The experience of physical life is an amazing thing. It's such an amazing gift that you wouldn't want to miss out on even a, for a minute because it is such a beautiful, beautiful vehicle for experiencing all of the emotions and all of the joys and all of the ups and downs that make up this human experience. 
Ascension is your birthright. You deserve it. You've earned it. It is the dream of any soul to ascend. We will be glad to assist you on this journey. This is one of the greatest times in history, as you are all awakening at a very quick pace. This is a time when all humans that have forgotten will remember. We love you and look forward to seeing you during the ascension process. We love you dearly. We are here with you. We are your family of light. Aho, Aurora Ray, Ambassador of the Galactic Federation, from thegalacticfederation.com, and from Divine Sister of the Light, Judith Kusel. We are in the midst of a very transformational transition such as never happened before. I am feeling this intensely, as it feels like I have left my old form completely and am being now lifted even to higher levels than ever before. We cannot measure this moment by anything which has ever happened before. I was led yesterday to revelation after revelation, as jigsaw puzzle pieces started falling into place, and so much of the ancient Essene teachings suddenly started to be revealed to me, but in a cosmic sense. Many souls will not be able to make the enormous transition, yet in a higher sense it is their free will and choice. Give me the courage and strength to totally step out of all which has ever been before, so that I may be reborn totally pure as the white flame of purification and ascension sweeps through me. I am laying everything transient down as I am asking to be dressed in the eternal gown of glory and to wear the crown of glory as I stand in fullness of my highest soul mastery and truth of who and what I am in truth. May all now fall away which belong to the old earth and the old me, so that I may be guided in order to step into the fullness of the truth of who I am. From JudithKusel.com And from Divine Sister of the Light, Karen Lithica. Light Evolution 2022 As you step up to the light, so does your soul team, for they are collectively part of assisting your light mission and expansion. The word step up is simply the calling, the amplification of your light, the intention of your mission to reach a higher state of expansion. In saying this, as you are reaching new heights of multidimensional awareness, the face of your journey relies on seeking the truth in every situation, facing the inner truth of your journey and the light of your spoken word vibrationally in all circumstances. From your vibrational word to your vibrational spoken light tone, the clear meaning of this now moment is to take the leap of faith and reach for the highest version of you, to be your true light form. Know the new age light frequency showering your planet ensures you have the highest light capabilities to reach this higher level of awareness. You simply need to surrender to any thought that is not of the highest will. Tune into the higher light vibration showering your planet and simply follow the light. You simply need to awaken your day with an intention to assist your vibrational light field and you will see the great difference. To clearly know that manifestation can occur rapidly for those with the highest intentional light will. For each day is a new light beginning, a reset in your reality as your world continues to expand. With love to the way showers of light, sending waves of cosmic love, the Arcturians and Karen from KarenLithica.com and from Divine Brother of the Light, Mohsen Paul Safarazzi, Ph.D., upon asking, Do we have evidence of re-encryption occurring? Dr. Safarazzi answers, It is happening as we speak. Your core manifestation template or morphogenetic system is being progressively re-encrypted that occurs in proportion to your light absorption. This is also happening at the planetary level with Earth's crystal core reactivating and is reflected by the change in the magnetic and gravitational fields of the Earth. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Carolyn, 144 God Code. Today brings beautiful new beginnings in our higher dimensional timelines of alchemical creations. Jupiter enters Pisces today for the next five months, launching us forward as master creators. Additionally, solar flares have been blasting us to awaken the elect's consciousness. 2 Timothy 2.10 Therefore I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may also obtain the salvation, which is in Christ Jesus with the eternal glory. 
The light of the CMEs and solar flares have been bringing the cracks in the foundation to the surface to heal. Now you can see more accurately where you have been gaslighted and manipulated by others. The source entry point has been through the heart from abandonment wounds. These are all transmuting now as the seed point that created this separation has been removed. God has removed it from our hearts in this heart gateway to birth a new fresh version of you. You've received what you need to move on and ascend now. Your role to carry the matrix to the finish line is complete. You are being carried into a new timeline where division doesn't exist. You have leveled up out of the competitive karmic people that have been intentionally causing division in your life, family, and union. Cleansing these energies today will support the restoration of your balance and energy. God wants salvation for you and has cleared the way for it. Continue trusting the path that he has created. Continue walking away from karmic bonds and into his kingdom. In Jesus Christos name, Amen. From Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames. And from Divine Sister of the Light Astro Mama. Jupiter and Pisces, expansion of compassion plus psychic abilities, the flow of unconditional love, merging as one plus spiritual enlightenment. On December 28th, Jupiter, the planet of expansion, wisdom, abundance, and good fortune moves back into the sign of Pisces. Jupiter briefly moved into Pisces this past year from May through July 2021. Jupiter will remain in Pisces until May 11th and then transit into Aries from May 11th through October 27th and then will retrograde back into Pisces until December 20th, 2022. Pisces, the 12th zodiac sign, is known to be spiritual, psychic, sensitive, artistic, and compassionate. Jupiter in Pisces is here to bring a surge of compassion, love, and spiritual growth. The transit here is to raise the consciousness of unconditional love, artistic beauty, and astounding psychic insights. We will be called to tap into our heart space and flow with tenderness and sensitivity. Pisces is the last sign of the zodiac, so lots of wisdom and profound connection to source will be present. This period of Jupiter and Pisces will see breakthroughs around art, music, poetry, dance, and any of our other creative and artistic self-expressions. There will be a dreamy and romantic energy that will be palpable and noticed. While this transit is beautiful and supportive for healing, we will have to watch the lower energies of this transit as well. The last time Jupiter was in Pisces was in 2010. You might want to look back to that year to see what was happening in your life. For me personally, I was exploring moving to Australia. Pisces rules my fourth house of home and family. For folks with prominent Pisces placements, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Pisces ruling the 4th house cusp, 7th house cusp, or 10th house cusp, this transit of Jupiter and Pisces will be particularly impactful. From AstroMama.com And from Divine Sister of the Light, Leah Whitehorse, Mars and Sagittarius, Semi-Square Pluto and Capricorn, powerful energy is available to make important changes in life. New challenges are needed to test our strength. Mars and Sagittarius is pulling at the bit, excited by all the possibilities, but Pluto and Capricorn recognizes that old structures must be annihilated to clear the way ahead. If you find yourself constantly changing direction and getting nowhere, or stalling at the start line, explore where your fears or losing security may be holding you back. It can be scary to leave familiar ground and stable scenarios, but better the devil you know won't cut it right now. The impetus is to push forwards into unknown territories. Once you resolve internal conflicts and accept the need for change, you can gallop to the finish line. Let your passions fuel your courage. Initiate your next quest. From LeahWhitehorse.com And from 13 Moon Peace Time, Key 1612. There is intelligent, systematic, mathematical information and spiritual codes of an evolvement throughout the structure of the universe. The evolutionary order is the ascending supermental. The order itself is the system of the cube. Sirius is the projective mechanism of this order. From 260 keys to Synchronotron, a guide to the new mind for people of the future. From 13moonpeacetime.com and today from the Dolkeen Times, Q1-2022, 
Keen 119, Blue Lunar Storm. Lunar is the name for the number two and its keywords are polarize, challenge, and stabilize. Okay, let's be honest. Number two days can be a pain in the backside. No relaxing today, you must deal with the challenges. Then those challenges must be polarized to stabilize them. Problems must be faced and just like the members at an AA meeting, you must admit that you have problems before you can tackle them. Today, look at what needs fixing and deal with those issues without further procrastination. Today is Blue Storm, which represents catalyze, self-generation, and energy. Stormy days bring about big changes. Combine this energy with the number two and kapow, what a crazy day. To summarize, identify your challenges, and then with the mighty power of the storm, blow your troubles away. This suggests that even very large problems can be dealt with today, if you have the nerve. As always on stormy days, get blown away or harness all that energy and put it to good use. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Blue Lunar Storm, 2 Kawak, Keen 119, 28th of December 2021, Stabilizing Polarization, 2812, 2021 equal 1035, equal 18 equal 9, Day codes, 28, great promise, planning for the future. 10, manifestation, authority, power. 1, new beginnings, leader, original. 9, endings, destiny, humanity, service. Month year codes, 12, acquiring strength, wisdom. 3, holy trinity, joy, creativity, communication. 5, freedom, liberation, change, transformation. 8, infinite, abundant, source flow. Keen 119 equal 11, portal, duality, twins. A turbulent day revealing any distortions to truth. Lots of mudslinging as the pond is being stirred up to be cleaned. A catalytic day for powerfully transformation. Nine months ago we had a double lunar storm day as we were closing the turbulent year of the blue lunar storm. And one spin of the Zolkin later the lunar storm arrived again so we are all too familiar with the qualities of this storm. As I am writing this tonight, my attention has been brought to extremely violent storms hitting our planet. A hurricane with 300 kilometer velocity winds in Czechoslovakia and huge seas tsunami in Tenerife, Spain. Whether natural or artificially induced, harp, geoengineering, these extreme storms are reflecting the nature of our reality one filled with confusion, discordance, and huge upheaval. When our collective consciousness is calm and stabilized, then Gaia's weather patterns will reflect this harmony back to us. Welcome to day two and the white mare wave spell of reflection, truth, illusion, endlessness, and magnification. Today we anchor our capacity to reflect the truth as revealed by the mirror, trusting in the transformation of the chaos that the storm is catalyzing in our physical world, enabling us to stabilize the polarity conflicts. Tone of creation, lunar, tone two in the physical realm. The lunar tone represents the sacred twins, cooperation, relationship, polarity of male and female and duality. Its action polarizes, power challenges, essence stabilizing. Yesterday we magnetized and attracted spiritual energy, and today we anchor that energy in our physical bodies. The lunar tone may also reveal challenges in order to recognize and release anything stopping us from expanding into new horizons and recognizing our true, authentic, diamond self. It's polishing time. May the storm, wind, sun, moon, rainbows, and water come out to play and cleanse our bodies, catalyzing great transformation in our physical realities. How can you use the power of the storm to magically transform your physical reality? If challenges present today, flip the energy, funneling the power generated through the chaos into creation and alchemy. Divine blessings for our collective journey through the Hall of Mirrors. May we arrive at our desired destination with ease and grace, buffeted from the ravages of the storm. In la catch a la quine. Christina, White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66, Keen 119, Blue Lunar Storm. The mantra, the code for today is, I polarize in order to catalyze, stabilizing energy. I seal the matrix of self-generation. 
with the lunar tone of challenge, I am guided by the power of magic. And on this powerful day of magic and transformations, manifestations, and transmutation, let us know what you're feeling, experiencing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions, and we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. If you'd like to help support us continuing to bring these transmissions to the world and our teachings, you can make a monthly pledge at our link at whitegoldeagle.com. Now I'd like to thank Divine Brother of the Light, Richard Loguercio, for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Brother of the Light, 441, coming in. If you'd like to make a one-time donation, you can do so to our PayPal account at the link at eaglelovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork on Etsy. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com and there's several more days for her 20% off solstice sale, so be sure to take advantage of that. Now we're going to end today's transmission with powerful code from our Divine Sister of the Light, Sandra Walter, Divine Decrees. From the diamond solar core of our unified hearts, we call forth a fountain of cosmic Christ love flowing crystalline plasma of divine love, light, and ascension into all of these realms from ascensionpath.com. And with the power of our mighty I Am Presence and our divine will, as we uplift our consciousness, our energy, our love, and our light, we uplift this realm, we assist Gaia and all her children through this ascension vortex, this portal, this spiral of light. And through this great ascension process, this affects positively all timelines, dimensions, and realms as they all continue to rise into the glory of the new golden age of eternal life. This experiment of suffering and separation was temporary, and we came into this realm to finalize that experiment and experience and transform this realm into the paradise she was always evolving to be. We do this through our joy, our bliss, our love, and our compassion for all sentient beings of the pure light. Nothing can stop us on this great mission of ascension, for love always wins, and only love is real. Victory to the light, victory to all life. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.